Tonight is very special because we have a new project in Hot Springs and we're going to have a new sculpture downtown and the sculptor will be our own Long Walk. This is the first time we're really presenting it and then we will have a fundraising campaign after this to raise the money for the statue. It will be 12 feet high, a bronze, with a horse and a rider called the Explorer. And just, we're very excited about it. I come here 28 years ago. It's a very attractive city. I love it. I want to, before I leave this city, I want to be a better looking, you know, for the future, for the children. It's only just a scale model. So but next, this is the center one is what it's going to be. When we finish like this. That is one. This sculpture project is very, very exciting for the city, and I can't wait for everybody to donate big so we can get it built faster. What a wonderful party. Merry Christmas! It's the most wonderful time of the year. Hi everybody. Absolutely marvelous party. Bird is here enjoying the yes. art of Xu Long Hua in his fabulous studio here with a lot of art patrons that are going to be able to enjoy the Explore public art. Art, it's which is be great. wonderful. Art. Yes, we're we excited about it. This is my sister Linda Palmer and we just pow around together and we think alike and we act alike and everybody gets us confused. I don't know why. We don't know. So we just say, well, we're sisters, that's right. And then they'll say, Linda, and I'll just answer yes. <laughs> and then this is my other sister, Sherry. She's a philanthropist and we've known each other for a long, long time. And I love her with all my heart and, and I love her. She's just the most wonderful philanthropist ever. So and we look alike. We look alike too. So people and see, and and this is our guy and sister over and here. And this, is my, this is my new best friend. Is he a fundraiser? Oh, we're having fun. Tonight, I have the honor of introducing Long Wa, uh, and uh, really want to be supportive and encouraging about this project. It's something that will be a, a real, real major event for the city and will be a continuous hundreds of years it will still be here. So I uh, certainly hope that this group is receptive to our presentation and that Long Wa gets to apply his art and skill and talent uh, for the benefit of the city. He's going to sing for you. I, I would too, yeah, yeah. but I don't want to make him look bad. Yeah, she would. <laughs> it's all my jewels, all my diamonds. Oh. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Master of Ceremonies Dorothy Morris is about to speak. What a nice crowd. We didn't know if anyone would come tonight since it was so close to Christmas, but this is very, very nice. And so anyway, I'm very proud to be a part of this. Longwa asked me to be on his committee, and I said I would love to do that. I respect him so much. And uh, our committee got together, and we we're going to promote this sculptor. And I'm going to let other people talk about it so you can fully understand it 
and my buddy Don is going to talk a little bit about the history. So uh, a few years ago, uh, I got, had the opportunity to meet Long Shu, and his spirit has a way of just enveloping you and transcending you to a place that you've never been before. It causes you to look at life differently. He has, um, he just has a, a way of approaching life that is inspirational. And so when you look at the statue down by the Arlington Hotel, I think you can see that, that inspiration that he, that he has. And so as a community leader, I want to be able to take advantage of the resources that we have as we move forward. And some of the resources that we have in our community that I think we're currently taking advantage of, we've got the Northwoods Trail that's up north. We've got about 2,000 acres up there. So we're going to put a 60-mile mountain biking trail up there. It's going to be exciting, and I think that, that our city and Visit Hot Springs are doing an excellent job there. We've got Arkansas School for Science, Math, and the Arts with over 200 of Arkansas's brightest minds. And, you know, I, I want our community as we go forward to take great advantage of that resource. Um, we have Bathhouse Row and Central Avenue, one of America's greatest streets, and I think we uh, are continuing to do a good job with that resource. We have the convention center where we bring conventions in from all over the country. Um, we have the site, the Majestic Hotel site that the city recognized as a real resource. And so I guess the Arkansas uh, Department of Environmental Quality has just deemed that clear. So we're getting ready to see what form of excellence can go down there at the end of Central Avenue. Of course, we've got Oak Lawn Racing and Gaming, which brings tons of people into town and it's a real resource for us. Uh, today, my wife and my two daughters and I had the great opportunity to ring the bell for the Salvation Army in front of Sam's. And I'll tell you, hey, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I'll tell you, if you don't believe that the people of Hot Springs are a great so resource, then you're sorely mistaken. I was, uh, my belief in, in human beings was renewed today. Uh, it's felt like 75% of the people that walked by, um, you know, put, put money in the pot just so they could help their fellow man. Now, I'd like to think that the Gooch family singing was a little bit of that, but, you know, <laughs> but, it, but it did feel good. And, you know, so we have those great resources. But one of our greatest, you know, resources is right here in the room tonight, Long Wash Shoes. And we're kind of at a crossroads. We're at the crossroads between the great history that our community has had in the past but what are we going to do in the future? And the project that we've got for you to look at tonight is called The Explorer. And Longwall shared his vision for this uh, with me a few years ago. And, you know, explorers, and Indians, Native Americans came to this very place looking for answers, looking for, you know, religious answers, looking for healing, looking for the waters to, you know, just transform them into something different. And this Explorer statue, I think, stands here at this crossroads and points us into the future. And so what, what we'll be looking for in the future, what will we uh, do as a community in the future? I'm not really sure, but I think this statue can <clears throat> inspire us all to, to look at the future through the eyes of one of our greatest resources, Long Wash I'm just I'm just rambling on a little bit, but I just, I love this man, I love this project, and I know that as uh, people in this community, we have to invest if we want to see a return on that investment. Uh, this is not just an expense, this is an investment because I promise you, just like when they built Central Park in New York City, just like when they built the Golden Gate Bridge, if we do something like this, it's an investment and it brings uh, return to our community. So I just wanted to, that's, that's all I've got for you, Dorothy. Right. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. With that, I'd like to introduce to you the mayor of Hot Springs, Pat McKay. Thank you, Dad. Yeah, we have a, the city of Hot Springs is very, very excited about this project and we're very excited about the, this being an anchor, anchor for a much larger project of the Mel of the Malvern Gateway project. So we have a letter here from the uh, city manager I like to read today. The city of Hot Springs has worked diligently to execute its Malvern Avenue Gateway plan, which includes a significant focus on public art and enhanced design elements along Malvern Avenue between Grand Avenue and Convention Boulevard. 
For the past year, city officials have been meeting with local renowned sculptor, Long Law, and community leaders seeking a location for a proposed large-scale bronze sculpture depicting Spanish explorer Hernando de Soto. The city's Complete Streets team and city administration, in collaboration with Long Wall, have carefully examined nearly a dozen potential sites using various criteria to select a suitable place for the foregoing work. As a result, the city has designated the use of median space within public rights of way in the vicinity of the intersection of Malvern and Broadway and Hot Springs for Longwall's proposed DeSoto sculpture. The city is grateful for the enthusiasm and leadership of those within our community who might endeavor to raise funds to support the arts in Hot Springs. And that completes uh, <coughs> Mr. Fraser's uh, letter of support. Uh, I've seen some of the initial plans for the Gateway project, and it it would be very, very exciting. I mean, it reminds me of San Antonio's Riverwalk, you know, other areas where, where you can go, and, and you don't always see that today, you know, but unearthing the uh, uh, Greenway is, is a big part of that project. And, uh, and then that whole Greenway trail system going right downtown. When I saw that initial uh, uh, concept, I'm like, man, all the businesses right down there at Spencer's Corner and that whole area is just going to open up big time. And I figured, oh, well, what are we going to do for the people at the other end? And yeah, you got the Northwoods in that, and, but Park Avenue is just going gangbusters. So we're going to have a, a huge area where you can go uh, in areas that are here before that you wouldn't frequent. And so, uh, so, our, so we're very supportive of, of Long Law and what he's going to bring as, as the initial piece of art right here in, in, in this wonderful community, in that section of the community. And uh, we look forward to, to the build out from there. That will be a great anchor and it will create a lot of enthusiasm. So. So Dorothy, I think I kick it off to Richard. Good. Very good. Thank you, Mayor. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> I have some things I want to say about Long Wall because we've been longtime friends and and uh, uh, artists together in a drawing group for about 23 years. So um, I was asked to make a few comments about Long Wa and my relationship with him and some of our conversations and so I'm, I'm honored to do that tonight. I don't want to make any mistakes so I'm going to be follow my notes pretty closely. It is an honor for me tonight to be asked to introduce my dear friend and fellow artist Long Wa Shu. Long Wa is one of the finest artists I know. He is also one of the finest artists I have ever known of. His achievements and resume in the arts are literally world-class. Longwa's interest in the arts began as a child when his older brother would take him to the park to paint landscapes. As his talents blossomed, the Chinese National Arts and Crafts Company, created after the reopening of trade between the United States and China in 1971, selected him as part of an elite group to learn more traditional art forms. This art facility was dedicated to furthering the art education of gifted students from all over China to create a new generation of professional artists following the end of the Cultural Re Revolution. Long Wa graduated from East China University in technology with a degree in fine arts and went on to teach art at Shanghai University of Technology until 1989. He began displaying his art nationally in 1972 with ex exhibits all over the country, including the Shanghai Art Museum. He created several major sculptures in Shanghai. Many of his works were published internationally and presented in national gifts to foreign dignitaries. One of his sculptures was selected for inclusion in the complete works of world master sculpture. It, this included from the end of the century to the present. That's pretty impressive. In 1989, he was invited to come to the United States with the title of Outstanding Artist 
under the Extraordinary Ability Program. In 1992, he was commissioned to sculpt Mother Nature, the sculpture on Central Avenue near the Arlington Hotel. Since then, he has created countless pieces of public art for parks, schools, and hospitals, as well as numerous pieces for private collectors. Several of his works have gone on to be designated national treasures and cataloged in the Smithsonian Institute Catalog of Great Public Works. Although sculpture is his passion, he loves all mediums of art. He has always said that in order to fully express one's ideas, thoughts, and emotions, one must be proficient in all techniques of art. This philosophy is in many ways similar to that of his hero, the artist Michelangelo, who was also fairly proficient <laughs> in <laughs> techniques and mediums. Longwa has dedicated his life to this philosophy and continues to explore new avenues of expression with stone carving, relief sculpture, bronze, pottery, oil, acrylic, and even architecture. My dear lady friend Stevie and I had the privilege of having dinner with Long Wa and Sung Ying the other evening. And surprise, surprise, the conversation evolved to art. More specifically, why we, as artists, do what we do. I was especially moved by what Long Wa shared. He said he recognizes what a special place Hot Springs is and how fortunate he feels to be here and to have raised his family here. He talked about this project and that as an artist, he wants the challenge of the concept and scope of the work, the problem solving, the immersion into the creative process. But what stuck with me most was when he said he saw it as an opportunity to share with the city to give back in a unique and permanent way. He said he wanted to create something lasting that his grandchildren could point to and say, my granddaddy did that. <laughs> or in the future, say, my great, great grandfather did that. What a reason to want to do something for the expression of the passion and the sheer joy of sharing. I recently read across a quote that seemed appropriate for this evening. Warren Buffett, a name many of you will recognize, said, price is what we pay, value is what we get. I have no doubt that Hot Springs and its future generations will receive great value from the skill, hard work, and dedication to high standards of my dear friend, Long wash you. Wow. <laughs> if I'm dying, if someone would say me like this, I would be ready to go. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much to come here tonight. And because you're, and because the people in the hospitals, Make me stay here for 28 years, and I hope many, many years to go. I was here with a <clears throat> friends of mine, you know, without like Dorsey or Don or um, friends of mine, Mr. Foley, and uh, many, many people here. I don't want to point all the people, you know, mm -hmm. to support. I cannot be here today. And anybody know the American term say the starving artist, you know, it's, it's a very tough life. But I believe anybody have the gift from the God to do what your life meaningful. So my, my meaning is the art. I want to share with the people to, to it's, it's all from the community to give back to the community if I can. And the inspire me, the hospital is a very unique place. And I live in a big city, it's like, you know, it's 27 or 26 million people. And when I come to this little town, even my brother will come here and say, forget, I mean, go back. <laughs> you cannot make it here. You know, I cannot live in like this because it just doesn't work. So I raised family here, my children grew up here, we so happy years, you know. So to me is now, this city is so beautiful. If I can make it more beautiful, it's my job. 
So I come here today is ask everybody to be supported, doesn't matter which way, spiritual or economic or some way, to make this happen. Because this, I see, if this sculpture finish, this town to the Melbourne, to the, the East Grand Avenue will be open the door for those people come here and say, wow, this nice town, not only just the water, not only just the weather and the green space, also the culture, also the place people memorized. Thanks very much for coming with me. I suppose most of you know my role. <laughs> <laughs> so my committee is Don Gooch and my Brandy Foley. And we, if, if we make a phone call, don't hang up on us. <laughs> we want to talk about everybody getting involved in raising money for this statue. So I'm, I'm very pleased to be a part of it. Thank you. Showing this much leg in quite some time, I think it's I think it's definitely something you need to continue. <laughs> she got great gams. <laughs> I think I've already been on this video. We've, uh, Rob, we just, we just want to tell Rob that he's been replaced. Sorry, Rob. Sorry. We, we met Scott. Oh, come on now. We've upgraded. <laughs> Don't ruin anyone's holiday, like I said. He's, he's already a Grinch. He's a Grinch, anyway. So, okay. We love you, Rob. We miss you. And I love you, Rob, and I don't even know. <laughs> Merry Christmas. We had a nice crowd tonight and everyone's excited about it and everyone wants to be a part of it. So we're very, very proud. I appreciate it. Dorsey and friends bring all the people here tonight. Thank you.